Hi everybody, Natasha Koch here with the Van City Home Team here in Port Moody at the Port Moody Station Museum. Here's one of the old trains here and here's the museum. I thought I'd come right to the site. Uh, I'm kind of having a down day today. I mean a day off today so you can see that I'm pretty casual. But um, yeah, we're in Port Moody right now. Awesome uh, little pub across the street, Parkside Brewery. Uh, I took the West Coast Express today, which is very cool. If you want to get into Port Moody, you can do that quickly. So let's talk about the uh, Station Museum. Established 1969, I kind of learned about this as well. Most people would think that it's a train museum, and it's actually not. It actually has a lot of the history of Port Moody in general. One of the coolest things that I discovered is that it has a postcard barrel. So those of you, I don't know if you know what a postcard barrel is, but there's only three, I guess, in the world. And it was uh, it was basically the British whalers set it up so that they could leave um, uh, unstamped letters uh, during their travels. So when the ships come in, they would drop off their unstamped letters to be hand delivered to their loved ones uh, to talk about when, they're, when they were gonna be uh, arriving. Okay, so sorry I keep moving around, but I'm using my phone today. Uh, we've got uh, the market update. So in Port Moody, 20 fastest growing uh, as municipality, sixth highest in turnover, fifth in the fastest selling, which is actually quite interesting, 13th most expensive in the greater Vancouver area. Um, real estate on average, single family homes are selling for 832,000. Uh, actually, the stats are down over the last 28 days, um, about 14%. So a little slow down, 8.1% quarterly, 7% over the year. However, you can still get in at, uh, with a three bedroom detached home in Port Moody for about a million point one. Four bedroom, 1.7. So I'd probably go with a three bedroom and see how you could squeeze in the fourth. Townhomes, two to three bedrooms range between 699 and 759. Condos at a uh, two bedroom condo range around 655. So um, if you're only paying up a little bit more for a two to three bedroom townhouse, I'd probably go with a townhouse. However, uh, inventory is a little lower in the townhouse end. Uh, this month, listings, 105 new listings. 70 of, them, uh, 70 of those had sold and uh, they were only on the market for 17 days, which is why it's one of the fastest selling markets uh, and selling for 100% of asking. So it seems like the pricing is pretty bang on. So whatever is priced in Port Moody, there's not a lot of negotiating room. Uh, so check out Port Moody. It's got a really cute vibe here uh, down by the water as well as uh, lots of little restaurants and pubs walking uh, to shopping and then of course the West Coast Express takes you along the water if you've ever uh, traveled. It takes you right down, down downtown to Waterfront. Uh, check out Port Moody. Next week we're going to do our overall Greater Vancouver Market Update for the month end now uh, of August moving into September and uh, so stay tuned for Tuesdays. Um, mortgage and market update. Now let's see what Jesse has to say about mortgage rates and what's happening in the mortgage world. Talk to you later, everybody. Have a good night. Jesse Lavoie here with Dominion Lending Centers for your mortgage and market update. The news is slow in the mortgage world today. Everyone's getting back to school, getting ready to go back to work. A lot of uncertainty right now, um, but interest rates remain low. Interest rates are still at historic lows. And I just wanted to kind of go through what different types of interest rates there are because often we're seeing these really great low interest rates marketed online as low as 1.79% and 1.84%. I've even seen 1.69% for a five year fix. And I'm getting clients come to me and say, well, why don't I qualify for that 1.69%? And the reason for that is because no two mortgages are the same. So when you're looking at your mortgage, you have to take into account there are many factors that determine your interest rate. Number one is down payment. The biggest factor is do you have a CMHC insured mortgage, Genworth insured county guarantee, or do you have a conventional mortgage? As soon as you have an insured mortgage, you do get access to lower rates, but the kicker is you're paying that insurance premium. So that's not a benefit. That's You wanna look at the overall picture, the overall cost. That's number one. Number two is 
your value. Are you purchasing above a million dollars? Are you purchasing below a million dollars? Number three is your amortization. Do you have an amortization below 25 years? Or is it greater than 25 years? Do you have an insurable or an uninsurable mortgage? Meaning, even if you have 25% down, sorry, 20% down, do you have access to insured rates by having your mortgage back end insured with the lender paying the insurance premium? So a, a scenario like that would be you have 20% down, you're purchasing below a million, you are comfortable with the payments on a 25 year amortization, and you have a credit score of above 680. So that would be considered an insurable mortgage. So no, you're not paying the insurance premium, but you do have access to insured rates because the lender will back end insure your mortgage. So the point I'm trying to get across is that no two mortgages are the same. There are many factors when determining your rate. The best, the best plan of action is to chat with your broker and find out what you qualify for, what interest rates suit your specific scenario. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me anytime on my cell or my email, and I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you all have a really great day.